All right, another Assetto Corsa map. This one is Bella Vista. Um, I've not heard a lot about this one, um, but happened across it um, when I was doing some searches for some additional free roam maps. And uh, this was actually done fairly recently. I think the last update was uh, earlier this year, uh, in like April or February or March, somewhere in there. Um, it's an extensive map. Now, cool thing about this map as I was reading through it um, is it's got a lot of different options um, in, included in the track downloads, including some off-road options. So if off-roading is your thing, um, this could be actually a fun little track. Um, it's set somewhere in middle America. Um, I think it's a fictitious track, so it's not a real location. Um, so if you don't mind that so much, this could be fun. Um, but uh, but the idea here is that we're uh, we're gonna do some uh, driving and uh, see what we see. Uh, we do have some traffic working. I didn't have to do anything special to get it working. It didn't seem. All right. a pretty map though oh he was over the line way to get hit head on Daddy, whoever uh, made these AI lines uh, like to cross the line a little bit. Not that there's anything wrong with that. A little scary. Mm, nice tight turn. Do that at home, folks. I'm a trained professional. <laughs> Holy crap. tinkered with the time clock when I uh, loaded this up it was dark and rainy and I gotta say I didn't really want to drive dark and rainy so I reset the clock to be uh, early morning again a promise of a new day thing I'll tell ya just gives me comfort to drive uh, early morning I like this much better. We're going to see uh, a little bit of the sunrise here in a bit.
I've gotten a lot of really great comments on uh, my videos. I've been enjoying uh, seeing people comment on things ranging from uh, they like the way that I drive uh, a little bit more realistic than I guess other people do. I do have damage on and real tire wear and uh, real fuel and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if I wreck the car, I wreck the car. I try to avoid wrecking the car. Um, also, had somebody tell me they liked my voice, which always like to hear that, I guess. Uh, if you are liking the videos uh, and uh, don't don't be shy, please comment. I do appreciate. I read every comment and I respond to everyone in some fashion, whether I just uh, like it to acknowledge it or. Uh, actually respond back. I've had people ask me questions. Um, most popular question I've gotten several times now has been, uh, what is this we're playing? Well, we're playing Assetto Corsa, the original, not Assetto Corsa Competizione, which is the GT3 racing game, but the original Assetto Corsa that was uh, delivered to market in 2014, believe it or not, and through the modding community has maintained a very healthy and long life that continues on with a lot of these tracks that I've been showing you. Um, oh shit. was close. And uh, to those that uh, wanted or needed, I have provided in uh, a few of the videos now where people ask me what this is, provided them the, the direct link to uh, Yasuda Corsa website that still exists. Um, Kunos has the game game website. I, I believe that it's Assetto Corsa spelled A-S-S-E-T-T-O C-O-R-S-A dot G-G. I believe that that's right. And uh, the other question that I got that I, I thought was interesting is uh, somebody was asking me, you know, how I'm playing it. I am playing this on a PC. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, let's, uh, not satisfied with that drive, so let's go back to the pits. And let's just go the other way. How's that sound? So, I wonder if there's an exit over here. Yeah. There is. So, uh... We'll go this way, so we see more of the map. Maybe I won't drive like a nut this time. But, uh... The other question, uh, how I'm playing, I'm playing on PC, but Assetto Corsa runs on console, uh, both Xbox and PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, I believe. And, uh, also on the Steam Deck. Um, if you're looking to get your driving fix on a Steam Deck, um, it's a pretty decent game for that. Of course, uh, I prefer to get my Assetto Corsa driving in with a real wheel, pedals, and all that kind of stuff. But um, it is playable with uh, with a controller.
Yeah, this two-reel traffic is kind of wonky in terms of how the traffic just sort of appears. I don't like that so much. I don't know if that's tunable or not. So when I said I was going to drive like I nut, I meant, you know, relatively. I want to go this way. Interesting. I think if I read the map right, this is uh, a Route 69 <laughs> road. Good number, I guess. Uh, kind of Autobahn y feeling. I can dig it. I never drive like this in real life. This is a fun little freeway route. Of course it... has taken us back the way that we were going originally, although we're one road over, so that way is uh, the road that we were on earlier.
Ah, tunnel. I'm not sure what just happened there. that center line. It's a pretty map. Damn it. The traffic just appearing is, uh, not really fair. <laughs> By the time you make a passing decision, it's like, oh, there's traffic now. Roads are really just guidelines, they're not really rules.
And when I said this track supported off-roading, I didn't mean it in the context that I seemed to be proving it. It's a fun little road. I sure behind a truck. At least it wasn't a Prius. Oh, nice, a lake. A lot of uh, textures in the road coming through the force feedback, which is an incredible feeling. I guess I could have gone up that road and gone around the lake, but... Great way to unwind though after a long day at work. And it's not very expensive because I'm not burning real fuel. Which is nice. That would be cool. They actually had tractors. Well, I guess they technically could, but controlling them different than the car AI would be challenging. Oh, horses. That's actually the first like livestock I re recall seeing in an Assetto Corsa map. That's kind of cool. I don't have my heart rate monitor on. There's squiggle lines the next few miles, I guess.
Ah, damn it. Wow. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> that was weird. Keep tempting fate. I'm gonna get hit again. Technically, I did just get hit. It just... He went right through me. Campground. If you're into that sort of thing. I like this map. It's really, it's pretty, it's well done. It's got some interesting stuff in it. I think the horses were a lovely touch. Don't like the driving line the AI is using. I may look to see how I can adjust that. I haven't played a lot around with modding myself. I've tinkered a little bit with little things, like uh, I did a video yesterday showing how to fix a broken track map, um, because when we drove uh, Glencoe, we had that, that problem where uh, we weren't seeing where we were on the map, and that's irritating. So. Um, content manager has a mechanism to fix that either by virtue of the uh, fast lane AI file or the surfaces file So that could be pretty handy if you have a map that a uh, track map that is not working correctly. Um, you can force it to work by virtue of the files that are available for the track. Which is a pretty handy little thing. Ah! That was unfortunate. I was looking to see where I was on the map and uh, got caught up with a car coming across the line or I came across the line. Somebody came across the line. I did take damage on that hit, but it's not terminal damage, so... We will keep a right on a truck in. Yeah, that's the 69 freeway that we took uh, earlier. We got on that. 
by virtue of uh, really, I think I took a wrong turn and just wound up taking that because I was going the wrong way and didn't want to wind up back on this road quite yet. There's a police officer. house, huh? industrial park that way. I guess that's a big uh, starting point for a lot of the online servers for this map. Or the track day. One or the other. Reading a little bit about this map and some of the Reckless. Everybody okay? Cows. Kind of cool. Cows and horses. I dig this map. Huh, that's so cool. Well, this is the Bella Vista Motel. This is where we started. That is, that is the map. Um, hope you guys had fun um, and uh, check it out. I'll put the links in the description um, so you can find this. And uh, the traffic was already built into it. If you have uh, the two real traffic uh, mod already installed, uh, I didn't have to download traffic maps separately. They were already in the files. So everything, everything seems to work okay. Um, there also is a track day variation that I believe can be can use the, uh, the CSP AI splines and uh, do traffic that way as well but I didn't try that I just uh, used the, the two real um, traffic for now in the practice mode so that all worked just fine and uh, seems like a pretty nice map um, didn't quite see all of the sunrise that I anticipated to I started maybe a little too early um, for the track but uh, all things being equal. This was not a bad drive. Um, sorry for the accidents, um, getting a little over aggressive, uh, and of course, the traffic just appearing um, randomly um, in short cycle didn't help me much either. So I'm gonna play around with that and see if I can get a little bit 
longer distance view for the traffic at least and uh, do a little bit better maybe next time. Thanks for joining me and uh, enjoy life. Drive more often. Thank you.